Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Oling.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 5, Closed Path 3. In lesson number 4, we talked a little bit about the line sew and the region sew properties. So we're going to go back up to our line region tool and uh, I'm going to grab it from my quick access tool toolbar which we set up in lesson number one and I'm going to pull down the drop down menu by left clicking it and instead of using the straight line tool this the closed straight line tool I'm going to use the closed curve and that means by closed curve as opposed to the open curve what that means is when I double click it it is going to automatically uh, close. So I'm going to left click one, two, three, four, five, and you notice how it curves as I uh, put my click. That's why it's called the curve tool. I'm going to double click the last and it will automatically fill with where you began. So we have a zigzag stitch with a purple fill. I'm going to grab my select tool from either the upper left hand corner or my quick access toolbar and we talked about how you could change the length of the zigzag stitch under the sewing attributes so we're going to go from the color to the sewing attributes and it lets us know our zigzag width outline is 2 and that's fine the density is 4.5 uh, as I said you can make it longer or shorter. Now if I chose to have this outlined with a motif stitch you can also change the size of that. Now the default it has on it is 12.3 but we're going to make that a lot smaller. We're going to make that about, well we'll make it, how about 7.7? Seven, seven? I want you to see a big difference in this. So they're both the same. Now you see the uh, motif on the outside is much smaller. The same can be done for the stem stitch and the candle wicking and the uh, EV or blanket stitch.